everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Carrie if you're new here and today's video is going to be the long-awaited for coffee bar makeover y'all <laughs> this coffee bar looked horrible before this makeover I'm telling you guys I mean not horrible it, it was livable I, I've had it like that for a couple months um, but it, I kind of started to use some of the items off of it so then it started to not look cute at all so I definitely needed to redo this little area, and I love the way it turned out. So anyway, I did want to mention that I only spent $24.10 out of pocket to complete this project, so less than $25. But that is only because I did have items around my house that I incorporated to make this whole transformation possible. So keep that in mind when you watch my DIY projects, because... I do use things around my house to save me money. That's the that's the joy and the beauty of doing DIYs is not spending a whole lot of money to complete them. So anyway, uh, if you want to see a way that you can complete this from top to bottom, including the dresser, paint, and everything, um, check out the description box because I'll give you a couple ideas of how you can make this happen from top to bottom um, on a extreme budget and how I would do it if I didn't have any of these items. So anyway... Um, what else did I want to say? I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see how I created these um, Ray Dunn inspired uh, cups and bowls and all that, make sure you check out my last DIY project that I did. Um, I show how I did that and how I got 12 pieces for less than 15 bucks. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's jump right into the video. Hey everyone, so the paint that I'm using is the Colorplace Interior Paint. Um, it just says ready to use. I usually buy the paint and primer mix, but I bought this and I want to use it up, so I figured as long as I seal it, it should be okay. And so far, so good. Um, this makeover actually turned out way better than I expected, to be honest. So I am super excited for you guys to see the end result. And of course it wouldn't be one of my videos without this sweet little boy popping in to say hello. He is so adorable <laughs> and he just loves to be in front of the camera. But as you guys can see, I'm just taking out the drawers and flipping them up like to where I can paint them, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to start wiping down the dresser to make sure there is no grease or any fingerprints, anything that would make the paint not adhere correctly. Alright, so now it's time to start painting and I just go for it. I don't really think too much about it or may try to make it perfect right away because it's going to have streak marks in it, especially when you're using a paintbrush. It's just going to happen. I even let the kids help me out in the first coat because the more coats you put on, the less that you can see the streaks. quick I always feel like I need to mention this but this porch is not going to be here forever so I don't really care if I get paint on it at the moment if you guys have seen my mobile home buying process update video I talk about how we are going to be building an addition and this is where the addition will be so obviously the porch has got to go So this is after the very first coat and I just wanted to give you guys like a little update. So obviously it definitely needs some more coats. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you put that first coat on with a paintbrush. It's going to have its streak marks and everything but just don't give up. If you start a project and it looks like this, don't throw in the towel right away. Just keep going because I promise the end result will be beautiful. So I decided to go ahead and paint the inside of this top drawer and leave it out. That way I had a spot to put like a couple baskets um, for my coffee bar. It's so much harder now to reach you. Your heart is floating in the sky. We know each other for so long. We know our love like an old song.
just quickly wanted to mention that I did end up needing to do three coats of this. I think it's just because this isn't the primer mix, so I highly suggest getting the paint and primer combo. Um, it does make a huge difference, but it's totally fine. I just painted it three times, and then in just a second you'll see me sealing it. Okay, so this is um, the clear coat that I use, and I actually really like it. I feel like it seals it really well, um, but you got to make sure you could put a really good layer on it, and I did do two coats of that. I also forgot to mention at the beginning that this dresser was actually given to me from my best friend who moved out of state. She didn't have room to take it with her so she gave it to me and I am so thankful for it because I love it. I love the detail on it and I'm just using these knobs that my husband had left over from a job. Um, they're not the same color as the cabinet knobs but for now it will do. It's a hard thing to know That your soul will stay hollow And then this little chalkboard sign I actually got from Goodwill a couple months ago for $7.99 and I'm just adding these little hooks so that way I can hang some coffee mugs on them. Alright, so where I wanted this sign to go, there was no stud in the wall so my husband put in a drywall anchor to make sure that it was nice and secure and then we are also going to go ahead and hang up the shelves. Alright you guys, so I did want to mention that I only spent $25 out of pocket to complete this project, but that is because a lot of the items were given to me or that I already had on hand, so please keep that in mind while watching this DIY. I don't always go out and buy all my stuff new. Um, a lot of things I do use that are around my house already, and I just incorporate them in different ways to make them useful. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out the, des the description box if you want to see a full price breakdown. And um, I kind of give you an idea of how you can complete this entire project from top to bottom for less than $55. So don't forget to read that. And I hope you guys enjoy the before and afters. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video so I know. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle in a diamond And the southern sunset Never took before all the way up on the highest mountain. I found a place where I can drop the old view. And when you look on the horizon, what you see is
what you get The sparkle in a diamond And the sudden sunset so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee bar makeover. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you want to see more budget-friendly DIYs, please make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on. So anyway, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Talk to me, baby.